Hello people. Welcome back to the Quarantine Diaries. We are in week, I don't know what, of our stay at home here in Washington. And we are stuck here till May 4th at least. So yeah, it's going. I actually managed to get dressed this morning and my makeup on and I did my hair. And I'm trying to do that every day because it helps me feel better. So today I'm going to answer a couple reader questions and just chat a little bit about my books. Stay tuned. Sign up for my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet. Hit the ringer bell so you get notified when I have new videos. And give this a thumbs up if you like it because it helps my algorithms and I'd really appreciate it. So welcome to, yeah, the Quarantine Diaries. And we'll get started here in a moment. So I've tried to make this video three or four times and, you know, <laughs> each time I was getting to be a really depressing mess and I decided, no, 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 just going to do something different. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm wearing gloves today because I don't have nice nails because we can't go to our nail appointments. So I decided to go back to afternoon tea gloves, which I really like. And I bought several in different colors and, uh, yeah, you know, it's like, got to have something pretty and I've got jewelry but right now I don't feel like wearing my rings so here I am uh, for those who don't know who I am I am Yasmin Gallinorn I am a New York Times Publishers Weekly and USA Today best-selling author and this is Kaylee and I have over 65 books out I write paranormal romance I write urban fantasy and I spent 20 years in traditional publishing and the past five in indie. So yeah, I come to you from both sides of the <clears throat> both sides of the fence. Um, actually, a question I caught recently. It it leads to some of my other talks, my talks about magic and things. Now, Heidi asked me. Oh, I'm a huge fan. And a big believer in Sasquatch. One year for Yule, my husband got me a hoodie that says, Book, Bigfoot saw me, but no one believed him. I have read all your books and got to wondering what your thoughts are on the matter. They seem to differ in your books. I've changed views a lot as I gather information. Best, Heidi. Okay, well, you know, that leads me into a talk about cryptozoology. And I... <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kayla, you can stick around. Um, I believe in cats. Yes, I do believe in Sasquatch. I believe he exists. Um, I believe people have seen him. One of my ex-brother-in-laws saw. Actually, was chased through a graveyard by uh, Sasquatch one night. And I firmly do believe that, even though he's a long-ago ex-brother-in-law. Um, but... He was so scared, he asked my mom and stepdad to close the windows, even though they were screened over and we were in a town, you know, in the middle of town, because the memory of being chased was so frightening to him. Um, I have never seen Sasquatch myself. I've seen UFOs, which I could go on talking about too. What do I believe Sasquatch is? Well, yes, it does differ in my different books and my different series. Just because there are a number of theories and each series, you know, has its own view on that. I mean, each series has its own flavor, so to speak. But what do I personally believe Sasquatch is? I am kind of of the opinion that he is like an interdimensional traveler and that he comes through and fades out into our world here and there. Um, I, the Native Americans have known Sasquatch has been around ever since before the Caucasians hit this, hit this um, continent. They've had stories of him and differing stories as well. My personal belief is that as far as I can tell what I think is that portals, <clears throat> now you'll notice I have a lot of portals in my books into other realms. I do believe they exist. 
and I believe that Sasquatch comes in and out through through some of them and comes from a different dimension, a different world, so to speak. What world? I don't know. But I think he's like an interdimensional traveler. So that is my belief on Sasquatch. I also do not believe he's all that friendly. Um, I've had friends who have encountered him. You know him out in the woods not necessarily super close up but close enough to know they were there and the energy was terrifying for them and these were people who they're metaphysical workers they are witches they're, they're not easily afraid but they're just like no 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 not a friendly sort um so yeah i think he's volatile i think I think he's not human, so he doesn't run by human instincts or beliefs. So I would be very cautious. I would not go out hunting him down. So that's my feeling on Sasquatch. And why does it differ in differing books? Well, the, the mythology of that particular altiverse is different, you know. The Otherworld Altiverse is different than the Indigo Court Altiverse is different than the Whisper Hollow Altiverse is different than the Wild Hunt Altiverse. Um, I like to play around with things because while my fiction does kind of mirror some of my nonfiction beliefs, it is fiction, it's fantasy, and I can't have it all the same, and they aren't all in the same world. You know, there will never be crossovers between any of my series except for the short-lived, you know, fly-by-night series going into Otherworld because they are different worlds. So there, there will never be crossovers. But that leads me on to talking about other things. I told you last time in my magical um, talk about how I got into magic that I saw a unicorn. So yes, I believe in unicorns and I do believe that the unicorn and the fae move in and out of dimensions just like I believe Sasquatch does. Um, as far as portals, now there have been some times where I have felt like I've almost gone through them. For example, I was walking with uh, a friend at one point down to a beach and I told him, I'll meet you down on the beach because he wanted to stick around and look at something. So I head down to the beach and all of a sudden I feel like I'm almost flying down the trail, you know. I get down there, wandering around, wondering where he is. Finally he shows up and he's like, where the hell did you go? And I was like, what are you talking about? Now this guy, he had long legs. He was fast. He was tall. I'm short, wide, and short. And he said, I stopped for just a few seconds and I looked around and you were gone. And I hurried to catch up with you. I could not find you. <clears throat> and so, you know, it's like, I don't know. That is a very magical trail that we were on. I had been on that trail many years ago and had similar things happen. Time, I think, can change and shift depending on where we're at and what we're doing, what mindset we're in. So, you know, portals, I believe, exist. Sasquatch, unicorns, the Fae, but they're not like the Fae in my books, and they're not like the Fae the Victorians, like, talked about. They're not cute little creatures. They can be very savage and very vicious, and yes, I do work with the Dark Fae in my magic, but I respect them too, and I give... I'm very cautious when I approach. Um, I believe in satyrs. I believe in all of these things, all of these cryptoids, all of these um, cryptozoology creatures, mythological creatures, because I've had experiences that tell me they're real. I really, I really don't care that other people think I'm a little crazy. It's okay. However, I want people to remember that when I write my novels, I am not writing the stories of these creatures as I have worked with them, per se. I am writing fiction. I am writing 
stories. I am writing fairy tales, so to speak. Um, so please don't make the mistake of trying to call on a god or goddess that I have created. Now, there are a number in the books that I write that are actual real gods and goddesses that I have worked with. But the ones that I create, they're not real. And, you know, the characters, while they're real in my head, they're not real around us. So, just because I've had a few times when readers would come up and ask me, well, are they really real? It's like, no, no, they're not. You know, there are some concepts behind all this that I consider real, but my fiction is fiction. A few other little things. My Spring into Spring March Madness contest is still going on. Feel free to enter on my site, on the blog. That's the only place you can enter other than one other way, and it will tell you in the rules. However, pay attention to the rules because it says to comment about which one of my indie characters you'd like to spend the day with. If you put down someone from other world, that doesn't count. You will not be qualified to enter the contest. You must follow the rules. I give really great baskets, but I expect you to play by the rules. Second, my March Madness sale is still going on. The link will be down below. Um, and third, oh, let's see, what else? Hopefully next week I will be a little more in, in my headspace where I can focus and do something beyond a video like this. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, what can I say? Things are a little weird now. Please, stay at home. Keep your social distance going. Eat healthy. Give yourself treats when you need it. Get enough sleep. Reach out to others to make sure they're okay. And be safe. Because, you know, we're all in this together. And we're all stuck at home together. And we might as well make the best of it. And do what we can. And mourn what we have to let go of. But realize this could be... There could be some good that comes out of this. You know, it's like... There, there could be. We just have to try and find the silver linings. Otherwise, everything's just too dark to handle. So find your silver lining for today. Tell me in the comments how you're doing and what your silver lining is. What you found positive to come out of this time. And also, you know, what do you believe about Sasquatch? Do you believe in him? What do you think he is? Where do you think he comes from? Um, I'd like to hear it all. Leave me comments down below. I will answer. I will talk to you next week at some point. Probably closer on Saturday, maybe Sunday. And, um, yeah. Peace. Be safe. Blessed be. Bye.